All right, so we are off to the LPP at the Fristed Rock. New area for us, so lots of exploring to do. Yeah, loading screens, and we're here. Oh, you wanted me to answer? I want to know if you figured out who you really are. Oh, that's easy. I'm a drinker, occasionally a drunk man about island. Everyone knows me, everyone hates me, handy with a gun, quick with a joke. I dress well, and why the fuck is everyone wearing a mask? You forgot to mention your little <laughs> hackama thingy. You'll get there. It's a hackama jig. I'm done playing this your way. It's the cult show from now on. <laughs> okay, all aboard, sweetie. Choo -choo. What, you don't believe me? Oh, you don't think I'll do it Colt's way? Watch. We're doing it Colt's way. Is this another peeing Andy? It is. You guys don't take your job seriously. Which I like. Colt's way or the highway. I think it'd be really fun to play this game like real quick like that. Especially later on, I saw in the trailer, you get like powers and stuff. You can throw shit at people and what's that say? Fuck Island? Nice. Let's go back here and see if we missed anything. So what's going on here? There's like a flare or a smoke signal. There's a boat that has wheels that, is that a duck boat? It's a duck boat and it drove into this thing. Hello, I'm Babs. Dang, firecrackers. Let's throw one of these. I guess it's just a distraction. The bottle, yeet. So we gotta get down there to the security office. Looks like we can maybe get underneath this bridge. Maybe there's like a cave or something down there. Let's go see. Yeet. Yeah, so we can go under here. So let's go under here. So we can go down there or we can go up here. And there's people up here. A lot. Of, are those, okay, there's two people. I thought these two beer taps were people. Yeah, let's take them out. Doing it Colt's way. This is a cool little bar and then inside this cave. This is cool. This looks really neat. It's another video game. It's Doom. I mean, hell. I like that in games. Makes it feel a little bit more realistic and immersive. Oh, we need a crank. We need a crank wheel for the safe. We'll keep our eyes peeled for a crank wheel. Hey, there's a firework right here. See, it's like pointing that way. Maybe I, this might actually been able to shoot somebody. Maybe you'll get like an achievement. Never mind, it blows up right in front of you and tries to kill you. Uh, maybe you'll get an achievement if you like kill somebody with one of those or something. I don't know. I don't know how it's playing without an amplifier. So, do we want to clear out this big building here? Because it looks like I can get to the roof, and I imagine there'll be a window or a skylight I can go through. This is awkward. Professional gamer. Uh, are you kidding me? Okay, I still haven't got the controls down. I will say, one thing I have been enjoying about the game is that I can't save scum. So, um, Whatever that happens just kind of happens. Also, I kind of also enjoy also 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 that you um, you can just kill everybody. And from what I gather, they're all in the time loop. So they're just going to wake up like and do it all again. So, you know, there's, there's nothing weighing on your conscience. So I can just go and kill people. Um, and Dishonored, I, I tried not to kill people so that I could get a, a good ending. But there were a lot of really fun and cool, like, weapons and ways to kill people that uh, <laughs> I ended up playing through twice. So the second time through, I just killed everybody to get to the different ending. But um, in this game, it doesn't seem to be a big deal if you kill everybody. And I kind of have been liking that. It's kind of like freeing to not stress about, oh, I can't kill them. Or, oh, I got this awesome gun, but I can't use it. You know, I didn't like that. I'm dishonored. Is there anything here? I, oh my gosh, okay. Okay, I guess they didn't hear. Yeah, so the button, I thought I would just right click, right? To use my left hand, because it's left click to use my right hand. Right click didn't work, it aimed in. So I hit left click and I shot. <laughs> That's what happened back there. I am so upset. I didn't know it was going to take 45 minutes to throw this stinking thing. Excuse me. Food sucks. 
What is this thing? Is it like a, some type of music player or a sewing machine? It kind of looks like a sewing machine. It could be a record player. Another oh. area down there with a, it looks like a boat with a propeller. And a couple pontoons. I'm, I'm kind of liking the vibes in this area with the music. It makes me feel like I'm at a ski lodge or resort. Like Beach Boys. Shoot, if I jump off here, can I save my double jump? I bet if I jump off. Yeah. Let's get this map. So, we're up here. We're trying to get there to the security. This is that cave right there. I think you can see the top of the opening there. And then under here is an area. And we haven't been over here. Let's see. Over here is where that pont the boat was with the pontoons. So, kind of know where we're at. I'm having a hard time deciding where to go first. I wanted to look at this car. Oh, it's got a winch. Oh, they're trying to pull it out. Oh, it failed. It's too fucking cold. That's cool. I like that, the art design. Greet him with a smile. Well, I mean, I'm not really ready to, I mean, I could kill them, I guess. Let's just kill them. Let's greet him with a smile real quick. Is there anything clever I can do to kill these guys? I don't think I have the abilities yet. Oh, this will kill them, this turret. Good job, turret. You didn't see nothing. We're the ants. Okay. So this is the map of the um, island. This is cool. Are these the relays? Remember I turned down those relay, turned off the relays? Those were like here. Maybe these are the other three. Cause there were four of them, I believe. Maybe that's what these little black things are. I don't know. Let's go check out that uh that boat, I guess. I don't think I can get in here unless I unless that's a door. That looks like a door. Oh, it's just a window. What's this? It's like a head. It's slippery. Oh, it's slippery. Get off. Ow. I guess I can't go around this way. I thought I could. Okay. Uh-oh. Okay. I want to go look at the boat. It's probably going to be nothing there but a boat. Is this a cave? Have I gone through here? I kind of want to go see if they're going to say anything. Anybody going to talk? Doesn't seem so. I just want to see if they talk. I just want to eavesdrop a little bit, you know? I don't think they're going to talk. All right, everybody's going to die. You guys drop any trinkets? Nah. Let's go look at the boat. Anything in here? Nah, let's go look at the boat. Found the boat. Looks cool. Salt scented page. Look at this. Congratulations by purchasing the Titanium Fortress Secure Personal Vault. You have invested in the most advanced home security solution available on today's market. Rest assured that your new code sealed safe will remain bulletproof, watertight, flame resistant, unhackable, bug free, and nigh indestructible for decades to come. Please update the default code immediately to a four digit code of your choosing to keep your belongings and secrets sound and secure. And don't forget to write it down somewhere safe. Nowhere safer than the safe. 1547. 1547, we got safe code. The sailor's safe code, is it in here? Oh, it's literally right here. So, I know the code, but there's nothing in it. Well, if we find the sailor, it'll be like the, it'll probably be the code to like his house. I don't know, maybe. Can I drive this? I'm kidding. I know I can't. Cool. Dangerous wager there. Hello? This is the boathouse. Let's check it out. 
Show them or fold them, Frank. I'm not Frank. What the hell? What is going on here? What is that? He's not wearing the same mask as everyone else. I can't say I do. Let me jog your memory a little. What? What? Okay, that is not good. Oh, that's not good. Am I getting gassed? Things are looking up when you just let loose. Lucinda Miroff and Colin Sammo. Remember their names? You're doing them a favor. They just won't cut it. I'm doing this for them. Do I really sound like that? Am I getting ga- oh, I'm getting gassed! What am I supposed to be doing? Just shoot him, I guess? Or just leave? Alright, let's just go. We're shooting him. Am I just gonna die? Yeah. Oh well. So, what was going on in there? I guess whoever that guy was and me, Colt, used to like interrogate people down there or something. I don't know. I'm going to look and see if we got any a better elaboration in my notes. Found a man lurking in a boathouse under Frank's place. He seemed excited to see me, but hardly keen to sheer, share a beer. Yeah, and he gassed me and killed me. Used one of my lives, man. All right, where to next? So we are, let's look. We would be, we're like over here. And then the cave is like under under here. There's the gulf right there. That's probably the cave entrance. This map seems really cool so far. Like, just look at this. This is sick. I don't know why, but I really like the cave and then the snow and really pretty. Looks like this leads us to the next part of the map. So we'll go under. Sound good? What's this for? At first I thought, oh, it's one of the things that measures the depth of the snow, but then I looked above me. There's another one. Oh, is it just the thing that holds the signs, but there was no signs on it? Okay, that's what it is. Yeah, there's another one. Okay. Just curious, that's all. No biggie. Let's run over here. I'm starting to think that um, the way the game maybe was expected to be played was you would just rush through the missions, like run to your objective and then leave the first day. Uh, maybe not. I don't know. Does that say slice and dice? Ugh. Oh, I'm glitched. There we go. You're kind of secluded, but what if they come and talk? I need to hear that. You can't see me up here. You really can't see me up here. Well, that was a little weird. Yeah, a little bit. A little weird. All right, say your line again. All right, I think I give up. You gonna talk? Next time, spill the tea. I'm gonna drink it. Next time, spill the tea. Editor, uh, cut that bit out, make it sound really dark and cool, and then make it so it sounds like I say that right after I kill that guy, instead of how I did say it. I don't have an editor, but I'll do it. It'll be funny. And now, you guys will have the context. And, uh, cause back then, when it happened, you guys were kind of like shocked and like, what, what? But now that I've said all of this, it all kind of makes sense, you know? It's like a, death loop like next time you live it like you'll you'll be like oh this is where he does that and then this is where he does that you know because i'm sure everybody watches my videos multiple times because they're just so goddamn entertaining anything over here there's a crashed plane here we go there's a little bunker oh, i can actually open it maybe i'll get behind the guy behind the glass 
Mm. I'll get behind the glass, behind the glass guy. And I'll be standing there talking to him, you know? Oh my God. What the shit is this? Is this the guy behind the glass? No, I'm way too far away. No way. Uh, oh, there's a bunch of data cassettes. What is this? Bunch of briefcases. Okay, this is kind of spooky. I don't know what's going on. Then there's this locked door. And it looks to be a generator? Am I supposed to decipher this? <laughs> oh, here we go. Do you ever just wonder? I do. I, I look at the children I chose for you, and I wonder so that my wonderings wander. I'm wondering right now what we wanderers will leave washing around in our, our wake, picking up what I'm putting down. When we're nowhere, what remains in our old wear? Black reef cold and empty, mirror flat water, landless and great, or just, or just nothing. What does nothing look like, my love? Don't you wonder? What does nothing look like? Well, even wording that sentence that way is incomprehensible because if nothing looked like something, then nothing would be something and it wouldn't be nothing. Here we go. Order operations. Charlie, you want in? Do not forget this. Nothing matters more. Not to BIT. Not the Minicoms, not the games. Double, no triple check the images against the note. You locked it in the safe by the entrance to the Yerha, Yerva down in Carl's Bay. The note, not the images. Combo is 7026. And for fuck's sake, scroll down. Do not forget this, Charlie. <laughs> okay, so we got a new code to a safe yeah and a safe by the entrance to the yerva down in carl's bay i don't know what a yerva is i'm gonna google what a yerva is unless it's some made-up thing for this game i've never heard of it i was thinking maybe it could be like a boat or something nah it's made up for this now, game what the shit is this thing supposed to do i don't know but i think i need to go to, i need to go get that before i can do this and if i touch it now i'll probably mess it up so we'll come back. Let's go up over here. Oh, I think this takes me back to the beginning. Yeah. Oh, this is probably the exit. I don't know. There is like a little something down here. Ooh, yeah, I haven't been over here. We have been over here. There's the exit. What's down here? Looks like a couple possible dead ends to me. Okay, let's go. Had to check. You know me, Mr. Explorer. Okay, so this is 2-bit. Two 2-bit's two like this robot dude. I don't know if that's specific to this area or if he's gonna be in the whole game, but he's like a robot that looks like a person type of, it's that type of deal. So I haven't gone down here. There could be like a door or a cave or something down here. Oh, yeah, that's, that's we were just there, okay. Yeah, nothing down here. You were saying? It's pitch black. Okay, we're through. Look at this. Creepy. Storm shelter. Another new area. Bastards. Mainland traders and spies. A bicycle. Here's a map. Here's some notes. All right, let's start reading some of these. Intelligence archives access. Code is 7F3. Close again when finished. No materials leave this room. Intelligence archives access. Code is 7F3. Mm. So there's like a, this is like a spy's headquarter. All right, BQ notes, the ice box. Red foul. I'm not exactly ill educated, but I've got approximately zero idea what watchmakers. Okay, I'll read this and summarize. Okay, so they're using code names. Red Fowl, I believe is a code name because these guys are spies that are down in here in this bunker. He's talking about Horizon, which is, I believe, a visionary and what they're doing under that dish. So I'm wondering if the dish, if that's where we were on the last place, uh, the complex, remember the, the array, but there's also dishes here. So I don't know. 
Found, and then here's the important part. I found out there's a manual override in her red prefab. Red prefab. Oh, oh, it is talking about the last place. I'm assuming they're talking about those little huts that were by the ocean by, um, uh, Wenji, is that her name? Wenji? By her little hotel thing? It's probably in there then. But she's changing the codes daily, so that means every every day the code will be different. So that is a little bit helpful. I'm pretty confused about that one. The complex lab security system activates a vacuum sealed containment system. Okay, so we found some some info about the complex here. I can access Wenji's depressurization controls at a code protected device inside her security lab. For a control freak, she sure does love a single point of failure. So her, that would be, her security lab would be the red prefab. Gotcha. It's all coming together. So did we get these dials? All right, so yeah, we have one of these codes. Uh, it looks like we need three and it'll probably get them from other areas. So whenever we hear about BQ in other areas, I guess, uh, maybe we'll get codes and then eventually we'll be able to unlock this door, but we can't do it right now. So I think that was all there was here. Was there a tape recording? Yeah. Solhern's last words. Okay, well, that's how we get those codes, it sounds like. Every morning, the radio, so I don't even know how to turn on a radio, but a radio somewhere will play one of the codes. So I didn't hear one this morning. Maybe I did, but I wasn't listening for it. Like I said, every day I have to go through four different maps or times, and then, uh, then the day will conclude. So we have, we're still on the first day technically, but we need to remember that, to look out for that. Let's go do our mission. Oh, looks like maybe I could have got through here. Oh, there's a doorbell. All right, have I killed these people? I don't remember if I let them live. Nah, I killed them. Yep, I killed them. Oh, how long have you been sitting there? I've been here for over an hour, almost two hours. You are blue, you're really blue. You look weird. You're looking weird, man. Next time, spill the tea. Editor, do that thing again where you put my voice there after I stomp on him. It'll be funny. It'll be like a nice callback. Really take my content to the next level. Oh, it's going to be great. All right, how do we get in here? How do we get in? Hello? How do I get in? But it's right there. Hack me, it says. There we go. Hack him a jig. Okay. LPP. Where's the LPP? Kill the captain. Where's the captain? LPP. Uh, let's read this. Our visionaries, incredible abilities. Here's the latest copy with your suggested changes. Thoughts, Juliana. So Juliana's the chick who keeps killing us. Uh, Fia Zabarowska may look small, but when she in invokes havoc, she possesses the strength of the anomaly itself. Igor Serling could channel Aether and vanish in the blink of an eye. Wielding the invisible force of Carnesis, uh, Alexis Dorsey can move living flesh with a mere wave of his hand. Juliana Blake can be anyone at any time. With Masquerade, she hides in plain sight, uh, dispassionately archiving history in the making. So Juliana can be anyone. Ooh, that's some key details there. She could be anyone. So I need to keep that in mind when I'm talking to people. They, anybody could be Juliana. Um, when he calls on shift, Charlie Montague flashes between here and there with a snap of his fingers. And Harriet Morse binds people together via Nexus, allowing all to share the experience of one. Huh. Head of security. No wonder these people want to kill me. Fuck. Oh, I was, I'm head of security? Wait, who am I then? I'm not on here. Oh, approved Colt Vaughn, head of security. Okay. I had to scroll down like that. <laughs> okay. Well, things are starting to make a little bit more sense. So I was security. This, I guess, was my office. 
Captain, my captain, Colt, my Colt. You want your here safe to be your there safe, and now it is. They're safe and you're up damn flat. There, safe and you're up, up dom flat. Up dom, that's the name of the city. Except, yeah, big, yeah, really, I bet. Uh, uh, mm, except Miss Minya told me you left the code default. Is that an invitation? Everybody knows those numbers, that zero, two, two, and four. Allie even got them tattooed above her left nip, the code to her heart. <laughs> Maybe probably you should tweak it. A number here, another there, until it's all again new. Or not, whatever I th threw all my numbers out, splash. These people are hard to read, writings theirs. Fare thee well, Fia Zabaraska, high abyss of the rock. Postscript and such, that LPP of yours is a bit, a bit of brilliance. Your mind's a minor marvel and don't let any person tell you elsewise. Well, we got the code to the safe in our room at Updom and something about LPP. Something, something protocol. Wait a fucking second. I made the LPP, which <laughs> means it's in my flat back in <laughs> fucking Updom. <laughs> so it's in the safe in my flat. All right. I guess we'll hit play here and then we're out of here. So Harriet is responsible for all these masks. So the masks that everyone's wearing, it seems. So we know that about Harriet now. Yeah, so Harriet seems to be like the, pe she's like kind of in charge of the common folk or um, I always forget their names. There's a lot of new names that, that, I'm, that this game's hitting me with. It's hard for me to remember them all. Names of location, names of people, names of enemy types, you know. Um, I will remember their names. I'm surprised I haven't forgot visionaries yet. That's the one that I, I always don't know it until I'm like started my sentence. And then by the time I get to it, I'm like visionaries. Cause I just remember that's it. I don't remember what all the people with the masks are called currently. Um, I will get to a point where I remember them though. So that is Frist Rock. This is Frist Rock. Hey, I remembered one. Took me a bit. Cool area, really neat. I really like the artwork of this area. I don't know, what would you call that, artwork? I like like the layout and yeah, I guess artwork. I mean, it is a work of art. Let's go, let's get this saved. My game didn't freeze. Also my game, I didn't drop to like 30 FPS on this map, so that's nice. The complex, I was really bad frames towards the end and it froze. Let's blow this joint. So Black Reef is like the name of this whole map in case I'm not the only one who just realized that uh, recently. So we're learning stuff. I'm starting to understand it. I'm getting more intrigued the more I play. I'm really enjoying the story. I wish the game was a little better optimized, but you know, I'm just trying to enjoy it and not think about that. It is giving me a little bit of a headache playing it with this. It's not just the 60 FPS. A game can run at 60 FPS and still feel smooth, but something about this game, it still feels jittery. There seems to be some frame pacing issues and I have a G-Sync monitor and G-Sync's enabled. So the monitor is running at 60 Hertz, even though it's a 144 Hertz monitor, but I'm trying to stay positive. The overall gameplay and the story, I love it. It really, it's right on par with Prey and Dishonored so far. And I love that. It's a little bit more goofy and on the, the soft-hearted side, but um, so far it's okay. I like it. I did kind of like the dark, the darkness of the story in Prey and Dishonored even was kind of dark. And I like that. There uh, seems like there'll be a bit of, I mean, some guy just gassed me in a gas chamber. So I guess, you know. All right, so next episode we'll be, sounds like we're gonna be heading back to Updom 
and uh, checking out that safe. And then we'll do a little bit more exploration there. I noticed when I rewatched my one hour video that I saw some things that I missed because I was kind of kind of rushing. At least for me, I was rushing. Maybe for some people, I was still taking way too long. But for me, I was rushing through it. I noticed just rewatching the video while I was editing it that I missed some stuff. So I'm excited to keep exploring that. Make sure you guys come back uh, if the video is not up yet. Maybe check out some of my other stuff until it's ready. Make sure you subscribe so you know when it's out. And I will see you guys over there. Bye, guys. Yeah.